Rain was coming down sideways, the kind of rain that makes you question your sanity for even stepping outside. But for me, it was a call to adventure. Not the best day for most folks, but for me, it was fishing time. The rain might deter others, but it was my secret weapon. The fish were out there and they were waiting. See, fish love the rain. The water gets all churned up, makes it harder for them to see. The rain creates a natural camouflage, making it the perfect time for a sneaky fisherman like me to strike. Perfect for a sneaky fisherman like me. I grabbed my gear. Raincoat, check. Waiters, double check. Every piece of equipment had its place and every item was essential for the mission ahead. This wasn't my first rodeo. Years of experience had taught me that the best catches often come on the worst weather days. The rain was my ally and I was ready to embrace it. The smell of rain mixed with the mud always gets me pumped. It's a scent that brings back memories of past adventures and successful catches. The earthy aroma was invigorating, a reminder that nature was alive and thriving. Time to see what nature had in store for us today. The rain transformed the landscape, making everything look fresh and new. The trees glistened with droplets and the water surface danced with the impact of the rain. We set out in the boat, the rain drumming a steady beat. It was a rhythm that matched the excitement in my heart. Each drop was a promise of the adventure that lay ahead. The air was thick with anticipation. Every sense was heightened, every sound amplified. The rain was more than just water, it was a symphony of nature guiding us to our next big catch. Every ripple on the water looked like it could be a big one. The rain created patterns that were both mesmerizing and deceptive. It was a game of patience and skill, waiting for the right moment to strike. This is what it's all about. The thrill of the catch, the challenge of the elements, and the satisfaction of a job well done. Rain or shine, fishing is more than a hobby. It's a passion, a way of life. As I reeled in my catch, I couldn't help but smile. The rain had once again proven to be my greatest ally. It was a reminder that sometimes the best opportunities come when you least expect them. With each cast, I felt more connected to the water, to the fish, and to the rain. It was a dance, a delicate balance of skill and luck. And today, luck was on my side. Holding that fish in my hands, I felt a sense of accomplishment. The rain had brought us together, and in that moment, everything felt right. This is why I fish in the rain. This is why I embrace the storm. As we headed back to shore, the rain began to ease up. The adventure was coming to an end, but the memories would last a lifetime. Rain means game time, and today, we had won. The sun started to break through the clouds, casting a golden glow over the calm water. It was a perfect ending to a perfect day. Until next time, rain or shine, the adventure continues. Now fishing in the rain ain't for the faint of heart. You're gonna get soaked. But for those who love the thrill of the catch, the rain adds an extra layer of excitement. The sound of raindrops hitting the water, the cool breeze, and the challenge of fishing in less than ideal conditions can make for an unforgettable experience. But that's part of the fun, right? There's something incredibly satisfying about braving the elements and coming out victorious. Plus, the rain can actually improve your chances of catching fish. The overcast skies and cooler temperatures can make fish more active and willing to bite. The key is to be prepared. Preparation is everything when it comes to fishing in the rain. You need to have the right gear and mindset to make the most of your wet and wild adventure. Start by organizing your tackle box and making sure you have all the essentials. First things first, a good raincoat is your best friend, keeps you dryish. A high quality raincoat will not only keep you dry but also comfortable. Look for one that's breathable and has plenty of pockets for storing small items. It's worth investing in a good one because it can make a huge difference in your overall experience. Waders are crucial too, especially if you're wading in. They allow you to get closer to the fish without getting completely soaked. Make sure your waders are waterproof and fit well. Ill-fitting waders can be uncomfortable and even dangerous if they fill with water. Gotta keep those feet dry. Then there's the gear. Waterproof boots are a must-have. Wet feet can quickly lead to discomfort and even hypothermia in colder conditions. Make sure your boots are well insulated and have good traction to prevent slipping on wet surfaces. Gotta have the right lures for a rainy day. Fish behavior can change in the rain, so it's important to have a variety of lures to choose from. Experiment with different types and colors to see what works best in the conditions you're facing. Darker colors usually work best in murky water. The reduced visibility in rainy conditions means that fish rely more on their other senses to find food. Dark colored lures can create a stronger silhouette and attract more attention. And of course, a sturdy rod and reel. 
you need equipment that can handle the added stress of fishing in the rain. Look for rods and reels that are designed for wet conditions and have a good grip to prevent slipping. Gotta be ready for anything. The rain can bring unexpected challenges, but it can also bring great rewards. Stay alert, stay prepared, and most importantly, have fun. After all, it's not just about the catch, it's about the adventure. We'd been out on the water for a while, rain was still coming down but we were focused, scanning the water, looking for any sign of fish. Suddenly my buddy Jack yells, Over there! Look! He pointed to a spot a little ways off, the water was boiling, something big was moving underneath. We got closer, hearts pounding, what we saw next was unbelievable, it was like something out of a dream. The water was teeming with fish, thousands of them, maybe even more. They were so thick you could barely see the water itself. It was a massive school moving together as one. We'd never seen anything like it. Jack and I just stared, mouths agape. It was nature at its finest, a true spectacle. We knew we had to act fast. This was the catch of a lifetime. Section 5. Casting lines and reeling them in. We grabbed our rods and cast our lines into the frenzy. The moment the lures hit the water, bam, fish on. It was a feeding frenzy and we were right in the middle of it. The fight was on. These fish were strong, pulling hard on the line. My arms were burning but I couldn't stop reeling. The adrenaline was pumping. This was what it was all about. Section 6. Teamwork makes the dream work. We were hauling in fish, left and right. Jack and I worked together, netting each other's catches and laughing like kids in a candy store. It was pure chaos, but the good kind. The boat was soon overflowing with fish. We had to stop fishing just to make room for more. It was a good problem to have, that's for sure. Section 7. A bounty of fish and a day to remember. The day began with the first light of dawn breaking over the horizon, casting a golden hue across the serene lake. The air was crisp, filled with the promise of adventure. We gathered our gear, hearts pounding with excitement, ready to embrace the challenges and joys that awaited us. After what felt like hours, the frenzy finally died down. The initial rush of adrenaline had given way to a calm satisfaction. We took a moment to rest, our bodies weary but our spirits high. The lake which had been a flurry of activity now lay still, reflecting the sky like a mirror. It was a peaceful interlude, a chance to catch our breath and reflect on the morning's events. The school had moved on, leaving us breathless and exhausted. We watched as the fish swam away their silvery bodies glinting in the sunlight. It was a sight to behold, a reminder of the beauty and mystery of nature. We felt a sense of accomplishment knowing that we had been part of something extraordinary. We looked at each other, smiles plastered across our faces. What a day! The camaraderie among us was palpable. We shared stories, laughed at our mishaps, and celebrated our successes. It was more than just a fishing trip. It was a bonding experience that brought us closer together. We had caught more fish than we could count. The boat was filled with our bountiful catch, each fish a testament to our efforts and teamwork. We took turns holding up our prized catches, posing for photos that would later remind us of this incredible day. The sheer number of fish was overwhelming, a true bounty from the lake. It was a true testament to teamwork and being in the right place at the right time. Each of us had played a crucial role, whether it was spotting the fish, casting the lines or reeling them in. We worked in harmony, our efforts synchronized like a well-oiled machine. The success of the day was a collective achievement, a result of our combined skills and determination. But more than that, it was a memory that would last a lifetime. As the sun began to set, casting a warm glow over the lake, we packed up our gear, our hearts full. We reminisced about the day's adventures, the highs and lows, the moments of triumph and laughter. It was a day that would be etched in our memories forever a perfect blend of nature, friendship, and the thrill of the catch. We knew that we would return to this spot, drawn by the promise of another unforgettable day on the lake. Section 8. Sharing the Catch and Swapping Stories Back on shore we were the heroes of the day. Everyone gathered round, amazed by our catch, we shared the bounty with friends and family making sure everyone had enough. That night we feasted like kings freshly caught fish, cooked to perfection. It tasted even better knowing the story behind it. We swapped stories and laughed, reliving every moment of that incredible day. 
Section 9. Respecting Nature's Bounty Sustainable Fishing Practices Now I know what you're thinking. That's a lot of fish, Mike, and you're right. That's why it's important to fish responsibly. We only kept what we could eat and released the rest. Gotta respect the balance of nature, leave some for the future, right? Sustainable fishing ensures there's plenty of fish for generations to come. It's our duty to protect our resources. Section 10. Until next time, tight lines and clear skies. So, there you have it. A rainy day fishing adventure for the books. It just goes to show, sometimes the best things in life happen when you least expect them. Remember folks, get out there and explore. You never know what you might find. And who knows, maybe you'll have your own epic fishing story to tell someday. Until next time, tight lines and clear skies.